This is a machine for abolishing distance. Use it and you talk in a few seconds to your neighbor 20 miles away. Or over the trunk lines to Penzance or Aberdeen. Through the international exchange to Paris, Rome, Istanbul. By transatlantic cable to New York and Montreal. By radio telephone to Montevideo, Cape Town, Sydney. Via rugby radio to any ship on the oceans of the world. The system of telecommunications working every moment of every day. Take any day, any place, and you'll find a story. This one begins off West Africa in the Gulf of Guinea. And it really happened. Keep her on this course, Mr. Hobbins. Let me know if you see anything. Certainly, sir. for a burden. What are the cooling pipes? Well, we can't sit here like a stuffed duck. How long will it take to fix it? It's a casting. Well, haven't we got a spare? It's a chance in a million, a thing like that going. We'll just have to get a replacement from the builders. What, from 3,000 miles away? They'll have to fly one out to us. Chance in a million, eh? All right, Chief. We'll have to get in touch with London. Sparks? Come down here a minute, will you? Right, sir. Terry, would you take over a minute? The old man wants to see me. Certainly, Dave. Will you anchor here, Mr. Hobbins? Let me know our position. I want to contact head office for immediately. I read your telegram, sir. No, oh, it's far too complicated for a cable. Get me an RT call to the London office. Confidential, sir? Yes, use the inverter. Right, sir. I suppose he will be in his office by the time we get through. Hello, GCN4, GCN4, GCN4. This is Badagri Palm, Badagri Palm, Badagri Palm. My position is five degrees north, six degrees east. Hello, GCN4. This is Brent Terminal. Do you hear me? Hello, Brent. This is Pedagory Palm. Yes, loud and clear. Can we have a call on privacy, condition A? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'll get you my traffic. Pedagri Palm waiting on ships to zone C. Good morning, Pedagri Palm. How are you? Fine, thanks. Could we have Monarch 7311, Mr. Tonkin? Monarch 7311, Mr. Tonkin. Palm line, good morning. Mr. Tonkin, just a moment, please. Tonkin. You're connected. Right, thank you. 
I have Mr. Tonkin for you now, sir. Mr. Tonkin, Captain Jones here. I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news for you. Our engines have just broken down. Fifteen hours out of Lagos. Sorry to hear that, Captain. Will you put the chief engineer on to me, please? Mr. Tonkin, it's a lower piston water cooling pipe, horizontal arm and vertical swing link that have fractured on number one unit. The part number is 47G stroke 8865 stroke 63P2. We need the arm and the link together with all the bearings and bolts. Oak, can you get it out to us? Yes, we can do that all right. Any idea when you think we'll have it? With a bit of luck by about tomorrow evening, I should think. All right. Let me talk to Captain Jones again, will you? Captain Jones here. Captain Jones, are you anchored? Of course we are. 25 miles west of Bonnie Fairway Boy. But the chief tells me he could blank off the cylinder to get us as far as Dawes Island. All right, we'll keep you posted. Don't worry. Goodbye. Tucker, my daggery palm, well, that's a pity. Well, what do they want when they want it? 47G stroke, double eight, six, five stroke, 63P2. Yes, yes, I'll get in touch with 100 immediately. All signed on sign, 623181. Is that the new pass, Gloria, please? Thank you. Top here, progress control. Ah, good morning, Mr. Tucker. What can I do for you this morning? Right. Yes. Yes, sir. Mr. Clements? It's not here, Mr. Top. Do you know where I can find him? I'm sorry, I don't. Shall I pet him for you? It's urgent. Yes, very. Very well, Mr. Top. Would Mr. Clements come to his office at once, please? Calling Mr. Clements. Calling Mr. Clements. Would Mr. Clements come to his office at once, please? Calling Mr. Clements. It'll take about 20 minutes to get the parts done from the stores. We'd better allow the joiner three quarters of an hour to get a crate knocked up. Then by the time they've got it all packed and the stencils made, it'll be ready to leave at the outside in a couple of hours' time. Master Bedaggery Paul, engine part expected leave London October 10th, flight number BA2. inform Port Harcourt by VHF should you change your anchorage. It looks as if they've pulled their finger out at home. It means we'll only be delayed 30 hours. That'll please the super. And the wallers at Lloyd's. A lower piston water cooling pipe. Yes, yes, I've got that. Well, Mr. Downs, our claims manager, is in the room at the moment, so I'll get him to have a word with the underwriters. All right. Goodbye. Douglas Wilson Marshall. Please. Douglas Williamson Marshall. Fred Paul Darby. Harris Meads Downs. Harris Meads Downs. Oh, pardon me. I've just been called. Mm -hmm.
We've got 5% on it. You see, this is when it was written. Excuse me, Mr. Grace, may I have a word with John? Yes, do. John, I just had a phone call about the Dagri Palm. What's the trouble, Peter? Well, it appears there's a claim. Lloyd Surveyor's working on it, but the owners want a spare part flown out right away. Is Mr. Lawrence there, please? I have a trunk call from Moore's End for him. Oh, isn't he? Thank you. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. We're trying to find him for you. Mr. Lawrence, please. I have a trunk call from Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence, please. Lawrence here. All right, I'll take it in my office. A lower piston water cooling pipe for Port Harcourt to go by air. Can I have the weights and measurements then? Yes, they're packed in one case. Three foot ten and a half by one foot eight by two foot three. Gross weight, 427 pounds. How are you dispatching it to London? Well, we did intend to send it by plane from Newcastle. But it's getting foggy here and we're arranging to put it on a through train to King's Cross. The parts are being packed now, and we'll be putting them on a train leaving at one o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> The one o'clock train from Newcastle getting in at 5.55. It's the earliest we could catch. We shall be meeting it at King's Cross and taking the case straight to London Airport. What time do you think you'll get it here? It'll probably be just before seven when the van arrives. As long as it's here by then, we'll make special arrangements to get it on the BA255. And I'll signal Lagos for immediate transshipment to Port Harcourt. Yes, tonight. National Telephone Exchange. We are trying Mr. Tonkin's call to Lagos, Nigeria. Is Mr. Finley available for a call from London? Hello, Lagos. Will you assign my serial 1020, please? Okay, London, one moment. Hello, Captain Howe. Speaking. You have a call from Mr. Tonkin, London, Monarch 7311. Hello, London, your serial LG1020. My party is waiting. Hello, Mr. Tonkin. Good Lord, the Daggery Palm. Whereabouts? I see. Flight BA255, ETA Kaja. 0805 tomorrow morning. Don't worry, we'll look after it. I'll make special arrangements to clear it through customs the moment it arrives and straight on to the 8.30 plane for Port Harcourt. That's all right. Cheerio. Get me Fort Howard Court 6001, urgent. Yes, please, sir. Trunks here, can I help you? Yes, I want Port Harcourt 611. Port Harcourt 611, what's your number, please? Lagos 23381. Lagos 23381, hold the line, please.
If it's leaving Lagos at 8.30, it should be here by half ten. I'll have it met and taken down to the quay right away. I can arrange all that from here. You leave it to us. Goodbye, Jerry. Yes, sir. A fast boat. There's a Lily Creek. She's a high-powered tug. Where is the freight for, sir? By that grip pump. Do you know her position? 25 miles west of Bonnie Fairway Boy. Then the tug got to reach her by 3 o'clock, I should think. to be okay now, Chief. Right, Chief. We'll keep her at half speed for a while. Folks ahead. Heave away when you're ready. hours. Radio messages reflected from the ionosphere. Signals passed over landline and loudspeaker. People alerted, action taken. To build a telecommunication system is a job for thousands of people with a corporate knowledge that has grown over many generations. Today, a single telephone exchange contains many thousands of minute components, each mass-produced and designed to fine limits. Every communications project is a special one, for every job is different. And every design must be set up and tested in detail. A private exchange for a factory, or a telephone network to serve a city, or a continent. Once it's installed, it must last for 30 or 40 years, and it can never be taken out of service. An artificial ear to test the frequency response of a handset. microphone for a radio link, switching the circuitry by the pitch of the voice. A plucked reed system to select a wavelength. A noise-cancelling microphone to make speech intelligible from engine rooms and aircraft. And an artificial man to test it with. An all-electronic exchange. Semiconductors instead of mechanical motion. Call routing selected in a few millionths of a second. The research that develops a new project like this is not a backroom job. It's the sum of the answers to hundreds of day-to-day -day problems. Here it's a question of space, how to miniaturize a component for a carrier telephone system. 
think of the film that is with the exception of the channel filters. Yes, that's the next point I want to take up. From general considerations of the volume available on the rack side, we have to try and get six filters in a space this size. This means that we shall have to have a new design of filter, and that we shall have to try, in effect, to get six of these old-type filters in the space of this cardboard box. A physical problem for the engineers, and that, in turn, is a mathematical problem for someone else. This is the approximation I have obtained. Now, tell me, what does a pull zero pattern in this complex plane look like? Here it is. The distance between this zero and the imaginary axis is 0.033. Oh, that's good. That means that we can apply dissipation compensation and we should be able to save four equalizer components. It did occur to us that we might save components if we designed this network as an insertion parameter network with dissipation compensation. We examined the specification and the configuration briefly and it seems that seven 18 millimeter cores and 15 polystyrene capacitors will be required per filter. This means that for a bank of six filters, 42 inductors and 80 polystyrene capacitors will be necessary. Roughly, how long do you think this development will take? Well, assuming three months for the theoretical design, say another month for the breadboard model testing, two weeks for drafting, and another six weeks for engineering the final prototype model. This makes a total of six months from start to finish. Everything that's made for a communication system has this elaborate history, backed by study and argument, from mathematical idea through prototype testing to mass production. That goes for the eight million parts in a typical telephone exchange. 150 miles of wire used in the ribbon machine. The 400 weight of solder flowed onto the 5 million joints. Unicelector switches. There are many types, and every one must be faultless. And they're made in thousands. They must work in the long cold of the Arctic, or in the steamy heat of the tropics. Every tiny, robust part working in balance with every other. telephone has 508 parts. So a telecommunications factory is a hive of fine detail, of coordinated routines, of complex and difficult production programs. Engineer, telecommunications means far more than the domestic telephone. It's any reliable system for passing information over distance, the spoken word, or signals to report and control a process. To make ice cream automatically. Here, the ice cream is blended by remote control. Electronic devices select the ingredients and the quantities pass the recipes to the blending machines, monitor and adjust the mixing. A telecommunication and control system to select ingredients in almost infinite variation, but once selected, to control their proportion exactly.
No one would choose a telecommunications system for an important job unless its reliability were assured. In fact, we take the reliability for granted. The traffic lights change and change again. The ship's master knows his engine speed. Night and day, the nautical log records speed through the water without error. And so it is with the telephone. The reliability is built into the design and we take it for granted. In lonely country or in one of the largest private exchanges in Britain with its thousand lines spreading over 30 miles. Port of London. Shipping. I'm sorry, the shipping are engaged. Will you hold on? Hi there, Tarp Line. I'm putting you through to shipping. Shipping officer, Port of London. Oh, good morning. The Daggery Palm for discharge. I see. When is she due? The 25th, and you want a berth for only 24 hours. We can't do you in the Royals, but I'll have a word with the dock master at Tilbury and ring you back. Many thanks. Goodbye. Dock master, Tilbury dock. Oh, hello, Captain. Shipping officer here. Yes, sir. Our line want a berth for Bedagri Palm on the 25th for just one day. She wants to discharge a part cargo in London and then go on to Rotterdam. Well, sir, the own berth at 34 will be clear by then. We could put her there. Good. We'll confirm on that. You book the berth and I'll let them know. Very well, sir. A telecommunication system is more than equipment and circuitry. It's a network of people spread across the world. Research workers, designers, factory staffs, service engineers in the ports of every continent, radio officers on the high seas, and on a ship come safely home. At every moment, the air and the wires are crowded with the signal traffic of the world. The idea that began in the minds of men like Bell, Edison and Marconi has become the unseen background of our daily life.